got this wig from Made Beauty. I will show you, where is it? I'm trying to find the packaging from it. I just wanna say, this wig, there's no reason in coloring your hair. And I wish I knew that before I went copper because I literally had to grow my hair completely back out. But this is probably going to be my favorite wig for fall. <laughs> I was just, I was just making a regular concert, but I was like, I need to hop on YouTube and I need to show you guys this wig. I always kind of been a wig girl, but I feel like I'm really, really a wig girl now. I don't even know when it happened, but just having the access to have different looks with every outfit, every occasion. I mean, I would switch my wig up twice in a day. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. This is it, so you guys can see how it's supposed to look. It's called Candy Full Cap. Um, it says full cap, but it is a half wig because you have to leave hair out in the front. The color is FH Cafe. So it comes in like multiple different colors. They have one, one B, two, four, you know, those are the regular colors. And then they have FH Cafe, which is the one that I got that I'm gonna show you guys right now. And they have FH Choco Dip, which is, it's like a, balayage, highlight, I'd say more so a highlight than a balayage um, as well, but it's more so like darker, whereas the cafe is a bit lighter. So this is her. I had her on already because I was filming, so I did that first for like Instagram and TikTok and stuff, but she is so cute. So one thing, I didn't know that it came, the natural base of it is a dark brown, it isn't black. So I was like, dang, I don't know how this is gonna look because like it doesn't really match the base of my hair color, which is kind of like, I'd say more of a natural black. I dyed it jet jet black because I'm still trying to cover up the copper, which most of it grew out now. But now it's just more so like a natural black. It's not as harsh as the rest of my hair. So I was like, thank God. But um, you're able to, blend your hair into it. I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of did that. So it just, it looks natural. It wasn't looking like a harsh, harsh difference. The only thing though, um, it is a Converti cap. So let me, oh, oh girl. <laughs> Converti cap, so you can tighten it to do like um, ponytail styles, half styles. So the only thing with that, I would recommend if you have darker hair, obviously just getting one or one B or probably getting the FH Choco Dip because that will blend more seamless, seamlessly because I wanted to do a half style with this as well. But the thing is the rest of my hair would not match this. Like if I left too, too much out, so it would look a little bit <laughs> crazy. So definitely if you want to do more styles with a Converti cap wig, you do want it to match your hair, or at least match one of the tones in your hair, so it's not like a harsh difference. It has two clips. These two clips are for the front. These two clips are for the back. I honestly don't always <laughs> clip it down. I might clip it down for the purpose of this video, just for more security, but it's optional. I always clip the back and I tighten the Converti cap, but the ones in the front, it honestly depends on my activity that day because if I'm doing something really crazy, like you don't want your wig sliding off because I recorded a video the other day and my wig, I couldn't even keep the video because my wig was like sliding off because I didn't pin it down and I was changing a lot. So like I said, it depends what you're doing if you pin it or you don't pin it. So um, also I have the front of my hair, the front of my hair is just flat iron and then I just have some big, crazy braids in here. Oh, also too, I wanted to go over the texture, but we can do that as I put it on. The <laughs> texture of this is not super yakky. A lot of my wigs are a lot more yakky. This one is a bit more silky. It's not super yakky, like really, really textured. I feel like if the front of my hair didn't have heat damage, it probably wouldn't have blended that well. Ugh, I'm trying to tighten this damn strap. Yeah, if the front of my hair didn't have heat damage, I don't know if it would blend 
the greatest, but because it's kind of like heat damaged, it gets really, really straight. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are a natural gal like I, that it does that. So as you can see before I like blend it back, it looked kind of crazy and you can see the difference. <laughs> but we're just gonna pull that down and then voila. So yeah, you kind of just have to zhuzh your actual hair to the front of it. Y'all, I love a cheap wig. I love, I love a cheap wig. <sighs> Look at this color. Look at this color coming out right here. I really honestly didn't have to do too much. Like it already had really, really good shaping because normally I go down, cut it a little. You can add more if you want to, but for me, for me, I also want to show, so to make it blend a bit better, I just kind of pull it down and have it cover my hair, like so. And then this, you know, just play around with this. So it doesn't even look as bad, like not as bad as I thought it would look initially. Like the length in the back where it folds on me. Side profile is really, really cute as well. That's pretty much about it. I mean, honestly, I don't know how much longer I can really even make this video because it's just like a wig review. Oh, I'll link this wig so you guys can click on it, get it, do what you gotta do. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and love you guys. And thank you for always supporting my channel and building your little like hair community. Yeah.